Kalpa Sanskrit, kalpa kalpa is a Sanskrit word meaning a relatively long period of time by human calculation in Hindu and Buddhist cosmology. The concept is first mentioned in the Mahabharata. Romila Thapar holds that, "...the kalpa is first referred to in the inscriptions of Asoka." In the Pali language of early Buddhism, the word takes the form kappa, and is mentioned in the assumed oldest scripture of Buddhism, the Sutta Nipata. This speaks of Kapadita, one who has gone beyond time, an arahant. This part of the Buddhist manuscript dates back to the middle part of the last millennium BCE. Generally speaking, a kalpa is the period of time between the creation and recreation of a world or universe. The definition of a kalpa equaling 4.32 billion years is found in the Puranas, specifically Vishnu Purana and Bhagavata Purana. Topic: Buddhism. According to Visuddhimagga, there are several explanations for types of kalpas and their duration. In the first explanation, there are four types. Ayu kalpa, a variable time span representing the life expectancy of a typical human being in a particular era or yuga. This can be as high as one asankhya or as small as ten years. This number is directly proportional to the level of virtue of people in that era. Currently this value hovers around 100 years and is continually decreasing. Anta kalpa, the time it takes for one ayu kalpa to grow from 10 years up to one asankhya and back to 10 years. The ending of one anta kalpa or mass extinction can happen in one of three ways, all involving the majority of the human population going extinct. Sashtrantha kalpa, mass extinction by wars. Durbikshantha kalpa, mass extinction by hunger. Rogantha kalpa, mass extinction by plague. Asankhya kalpa, time span of 20 anta kalpas. One is equivalent to a quarter of maha kalpa. Maha kalpa, largest time unit in Buddhism. Ending of a maha kalpa apocalypse can happen in three ways, fire, water and wind. It is divided into four quarters each equivalent to one asankhya kalpa. First quarter, time taken for this world to form. Second quarter, stable duration of this world where all living beings can thrive. Third quarter, time taken for this world to be destroyed. Fourth quarter, empty time period. In another simple explanation, there are four different lengths of kalpas. A regular kalpa is approximately 16 million years long, 16,798,000 years, and a small kalpa is 1,000 regular kalpas, or about 16 billion years. Further, a medium kalpa is roughly 320 billion years, the equivalent of 20 small kalpas. A great kalpa is four medium kalpas, or around 1.28 trillion years. Buddha had not spoken about the exact length of the maha kalpa in number of years. However, he had given several astounding analogies to understand it. Imagine a huge empty cube at the beginning of a kalpa, approximately 16 miles in each side. Once every 100 years, you insert a tiny mustard seed into the cube. According to the Buddha, the huge cube will be filled even before the kalpa ends. Imagine a gigantic rocky mountain at the beginning of kalpa, approximately 16 by 16 by 16 miles, dwarfing Mount Everest. You take a small piece of silk and wipe the mountain once every 100 years. According to the Buddha, the mountain will be completely depleted even before the kalpa ends. In one situation, some monks wanted to know how many kalpas had died so far. The Buddha gave the analogy. If you count the total number of sand particles at the depths of the Ganges River, from where it begins to where it ends at the sea, even that number will be less than the number of past kalpas. <inaudible> <inaudible> Hinduism In Hinduism cf. Hindu time cycles, it is equal to 4.32 billion years, a day of Brahma, or 1000 Mahayugas, measuring the duration of the world. Each kalpa is divided into 14 manvantara periods, each lasting 71 yuga cycles 306,720,000 years. Preceding the first and following each manvantara period is a juncture sandhya, the length of a satya yuga 1,728,000 years. Two kalpas constitute a day and night of Brahma. A month of Brahma is supposed to contain 30 such days including nights, or 259.2 billion years. 
According to the Mahabharata, 12 months of Brahma equals 360 days constitute his year, and 100 such years the life cycle of the universe. Fifty years of Brahma are supposed to have elapsed, and we are now in the Shvetavaraha Kalpa of the 51st, at the end of a Kalpa the world is annihilated. Other periods of time The duration of the material universe is limited. It is manifested in cycles of kalpas. A kalpa is a day of Brahma, and one day of Brahma consists of a thousand cycles of four yugas, or ages, Satya Yuga, Treta Yuga, Devapara Yuga and Kali Yuga. The cycle of Satya is characterized by virtue, wisdom and religion, there being practically no ignorance and vice, and the yuga lasts 1,728,000 years. In the Treta Yuga vice is introduced, and this Yuga lasts 1,296,000 years. In the Divapara Yuga there is an even greater decline in virtue and religion, vice increasing, and this Yuga lasts 864,000 years. And finally in Kali Yuga the Yuga we have now been experiencing over the past 5,000 years there is an abundance of strife, ignorance, irreligion and vice, true virtue being practically non-existent, and this Yuga lasts 432,000 years. In Kali Yuga vice increases to such a point that at the termination of the Yuga the Supreme Lord himself appears as the Kalki Avatara, vanquishes the demons, saves his devotees, and commences another Satya Yuga. Then the process is set rolling again. These four Yugas, rotating a thousand times, comprise one day of Brahma, and the same number comprise one night. Brahma lives one hundred of such years. And then dies. These hundred years. Total 311 trillion 40 billion 311 trillion 40 billion Earth years. By these calculations, the life of Brahma seems fantastic and interminable, but from the viewpoint of eternity, it is as brief as a lightning flash. In the causal ocean, there are innumerable Brahmas rising and disappearing like bubbles in the Atlantic. Brahma and his creation are all part of the material universe, and therefore they are in constant flux." Bhagavad Gita as it is 8.17. <laughs> Names The previous kalpa was the Vayuha kalpa, glorious eon. The present kalpa is called the Bhadra kalpa, auspicious eon, and the next kalpa will be the Naksatra kalpa, constellation eon. The Matsya Purana 290.3 to 12 lists the names of 30 kalpas as follows. The Vayu Purana in chapter 21 gives yet another list of 28 kalpas. It also lists 5 more kalpas in the next chapter. Topic in popular culture. Topic: <inaudible> Influence on the Elder Scrolls series. The concept of kalpas was an inspiration for the kalpas of the universe of the Elder Scrolls series of action role-playing open-world fantasy video games. In the Elder Scrolls, kalpas represent each life cycle of the mortal realm of Mundus. Topic. <inaudible> City at the End of Time In City at the End of Time, a science fiction novel by Greg Baer, Kalpa is a fortress city built on Earth by descendants of humans in the last period of the universe to protect themselves from the chaos that is devouring it. See also Brahma Manvantara Yuga Topic. References Topic. External links Names of the Kalpas Vedic time measurement, detailed description by Gurudev